It's a good day. Thank you for liking and subscribing. It does mean a lot. It goes a long way. These videos are at times difficult and daunting to, to produce for both myself and Roman, so we do appreciate the support. All right, in today's video, we're gonna look at the 992.1 GT3 and see how much value I've lost or how much money I've lost. I guess that that would be potential captured profit at the height of the market had I sold. I did not buy that car with the intention to sell it. I had no inclination, even when the prices rose above $300,000, I didn't even think about selling it. I wanted to own that car. I was able to pay MSRP. I'm kind of of the standpoint that if I'm going to sell the car, I'd sell it at MSRP and not try to make money. However, in today's world, 992 prices, along with all Porsche prices, have been falling dramatically. So. At the height is over 300,000, I paid 186. That gives you a potential profit of $115,000. Let's just call it 300,000, $115,000. Like to like, I do have the AT price tracker plugin on the screen here. You can see that in some of these different areas where it's, it's really quite helpful. So for instance, this blue, Shark Blue, it's a sponsored ad. It's a certified pre-owned. You can see that it originally was listed in December, on the 9th of December, at $250,000. They've now essentially lowered the price around 10 grand. That's for a nice spec. Certified pre-owned from a Porsche dealer for 240,000. Shark Blue, and by the way, Shark Blue is going away. If you don't know that, the color is going away. It could be a paint to sample is what I understand eventually but basically after this run of the different porsche variants the shark blue is going away so that that may be a nice car to be able to own i'm in texas so typically i look at stuff from texas 5500 miles two hundred forty thousand dollars. so that just gives you an idea of where the prices have come that car granted it has a little bit higher miles considering the year however that's a long cry from what would have probably been an over $300,000 spec here at the peak of the market. So it's not a bad time to buy GT3s with the exception of I would still continue to watch and track this. The prices are not going up, that's for damn sure. A lot of these cars you start to see creeping towards, look at this. This is a sub $200,000 car. Granted, the miles are 11,000, but on a Porsche, who cares? And this thing's been listed for over a month or approximately a month, and they're moving the price down. So things are not necessarily moving. If you look at some of these different price tracking, you see consistent and rateable price reductions, all with stuff coming out being listed in December. You don't see a whole lot being sold through here. How many cars, GT3s, do we actually have? So granted, this is through AutoTrader. There's a lot of different vari variations of, of that, but I think AutoTrader provides a nice base for what's available in the market today. So this is 66 results, and these are only manual transmissions. So I'm just looking at what mine would be. I have around 3,000 miles on my car, which would get it somewhere in the neighborhood. Let's see if we can find a 3,000 mile spec that doesn't have CCBs. So this shark blue one does have the ceramic brakes, which is nice. Here's a 3,000 mile car. It looks like it has steel brakes. Let's see how, uh, this is from Elite, so I, I would consider this not necessarily, I mean granted I'm sure they're a, a good company except for they have 3.7 stars, so maybe not. I, these I would consider f second tier dealerships. If you're looking to buy this thing, a certified pre-owned is probably worth the investment in my opinion. This is manual transmission, obviously. Um, it gets 14 miles to the gallon, that's nice to know. Uh, typically they don't show the MSRP on these cars, primarily because they're selling them over MSRP and people who are looking at them for the first time don't want to blush. Yeah, this is about the same spec. Now granted, this thing has not sold, so it's sitting here at $250,000. It has had a couple of price drops, approximately $10,000. They're gonna need to continue to price drop this thing. It is not going to sell. If the intention is to sell that car, it's not gonna sell at $250,000. I can, I can state that with a certain amount of confidence. 
So what would you have done? Would you have taken the $115,000 profit like the other Porsche flippers or would you have stayed in the car? For me, I bought the car with the intention to own, drive, operate, and enjoy the car. The price fluctuations is really a moot point for me. It's irrelevant, it does not matter. However, I'd be interested to hear what you say in the comments below. Thanks again, and it's a good day. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Cheers.